I'm still doing a review. Obviously, I saw it online. Um, just to let you know, it is online. Google it. Um, we all know what happened. Cartoon Network abruptly pulled off the whole DC nation. Very disappointed. Um, but one thing we have to keep in mind is this is a business. And for them, it was better business for them to take it off and to put on their whole their own network um, or own source material for the celebration of the 20th anniversary of uh, Cartoon Network, which we all think is completely disrespectful to it. It's viewers and the viewers of the DC Nation. We all feel that way. I wrote my letter. I expressed in my I expressed how I felt. But what can we do? We can get over it. Um, we can continue to go support. And um, if you want, like I said, that's what I strongly suggest. Email to executives. Executives are on the website. That's one thing about executives. Executive of publicly traded companies, they have to make their um, uh, you, they have to have a way to get in touch with them for that reason. It's kind of law. Um, BB, was it? BBB or Better Business Bureau. It it goes into details. My f friend, the the business student, was talking to me about it. But um, let's go into it. Young Justice Before the Dawn. Uh, again, I saw it online. Um, why are they taking this off? Like, really? It's just getting good. Mm, Cartoon Network. No, I'm kidding. All right. All right, I'm going to give actually a review this time. Um, well, it basically starts off with uh, Calder meeting the Reach, which we all kind of expected it to be the Reach. And, yeah, Black Beetle was introduced, the Reach. Um, I don't know if anybody watched Batman Breathing the Bold, but it's kind of an expansion on that one episode dealt with the Reach, which is a great deal better. Whole season de dedicated, to, dedicated to this is, I agree, I agree well. Uh, I feel is it's much more justified and much more thought provoking. Um, so it meets with Calder initially meeting with the the leaders of the Reach, seeing how high me everyone is, seeing the kids that they captured. Static, static. I'm just mad that he didn't. I'm just. I want. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna look forward to it. But we're gonna get some static shock. We're gonna. I can't. I can't wait for it. Uh, then it goes back to basically Batgirl and. Um, and one thing I liked about this episode was no side story. This is what they want you to focus on. They wanted you to focus on the main idea or the main story, which is them gathering and them getting their um, team members. Okay. Uh, again, it started with uh, a Robin and a Batgirl infiltrating a uh, group of kids that they tracked that have... And they were talking about the whole X-Gene and the Metagene and they are talking about Calder deduce. They want to weaponize the whole idea of metahumans and all that but we we kind of knew that already we kind of speculated that was kind of a given i mean if you pay attention to the stories look at the plots that was kind of a given um so again uh, wasp i forgot wasp was in there i mean bumblebee i'm sorry god i'm wasp i apologize um i was excited that i was able to see the episode but you know b Robin, bad girl, infiltrates the kids. They allow themselves to be captured. They get aboard um, the ship. Goes to the Reach is um, main ship, which we learn later on is not the main ship. But um, they are captured. They find the other kids. It is basically them getting back their teammates. This is basically this episode is them getting their teammates, uh, securing certain information, learning that finally the partner is the Reach. The Crolitanian's enemy is the Reach. Um, also, which one thing I wanted to talk about, this is probably one of the main things I talk about, is that uh, basically Miss Martian finds out. And how does she find out? If you saw it, you know what happened. She pried in a, she Basically, her, after she rescues BB and Impulse, her and BB are heading towards the docking bay, the... the get the bio ship and they run into Calder and she does you know the thing to Calder and that's where she finds out the truth and I think she is broken with herself because she realizes that in the end she just hurt her friend and that's interesting play I'm I'm surprised she I'm looking forward to finding out if Cartoon Everywhere ever plays it again or I'm just gonna have to get it on iTunes I'm just gonna have to stop waiting and just do it. I try to wait till the end of the season, but you know what? I want to be surprised, but Cartoon Network doesn't allow that to happen. 
So basically, she finds that out. They all fight Black Beetle, and Black Beetle is very powerful. And one thing about that little spot that I found very interesting is that Static was there, and I was like, oh, I'm just, I was waiting for Static to do something. I was just into, come on, give me one, one Static, one little ball of lightning. That's all I wanted. But unfortunately, they had to wait. They, 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 they were getting their butts handed to them by Black Beetle, unfortunately. And I was like. Eh. Um, but overall, that was a good battle. He takes out basically everyone that's in the docking bay, which was uh, Bumblebee, uh, Wonder Girl, Superboy, uh, uh, Fish Boy that no one likes, <laughs> uh, Robin, Fat Girl. Um, I believe I did say Wonder Girl. I just wanted to make sure. Um, basically, he takes everyone out. Megan, you can tell, is a little shocked, shell shocked, and I don't want to say PTSD, but it's just more or less she's just shocked after the news that she knows. Okay, your friend that you were grieving over is alive. She just saved Calder. It's an elaborate plot that your friends kept from you, and she's a little shell shocked. I, I can't. I'm anticipating when she confronts Nightwing, when she confronts Wally. I'm gonna. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I don't know if she's gonna tell Connor or the rest of the team. I think I don't know. Her and Secrets is one of those things where I think she would keep it. So we'll find out together. Um, to continue, after they basically, after Black Beetle basically takes everyone out, next comes uh, Enter the Room, Blue Beetle, because, uh, let me backtrack a little bit. Impulse was, you know, very fast. He can face shifts through walls or doors, so he was looking for uh, Jaime. Then he reveals to Jaime that basically the Reach took over. That's what happened to his future. Um, he wanted to stop you from becoming the basically the big bad Blue Beetle. And basically that that he he, he confided in him. And then that 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 kind of cemented their friendship and their bond. And then I found that interesting as well. That he has no told no one, but he did tell Jaime, I'm here because I want to prevent what you are capable of be capable of becoming. Um, again, BB, Impulse, and Black Beetle enter the room. Black Beetle and Blue Beetle fight. They get everyone else back on the ship. Blue Beetle allows the symbiote to take over, Scarab to take over. Scarab fights, and then he's afraid of the Scarab taking over, so he, Jaime takes back control. They fight some more. Boom, good, big explosion. And they everyone basically escapes. <sighs> Reviews are very hard. <laughs> um, Nightwing then um, contacts the League, which is Aquaman and Captain Adam. Keep in mind that the rest of the team, the ones, the six that flew off, are still missing. So keep that in mind. And I like this fact that the um, Reach did a preemptive strike by introducing themselves to the new, new United Nations. Um, having ulterior motives but still showing the olive branch. I mean, that's how you false sense of security, yet you have an interior motive. Um, many shows have been done that way. Uh, that's where it ends. Um, I'm not used to doing a comprehensive review, <laughs> but what I usually do is my thoughts. My thoughts is, again, excellent writing, excellent story. It developed the plot. It continued to go in. Um, I love the psychological warfare with um going on in Miss Martian right now and I can't wait for that to continue. Uh and I like the fact that I think Connor knows something's up. She knows something. And I he's gonna find out. And if he finds out I know he'll confront Nightwing. I know he'll confront Wally. Um overall this was again, why is Cartoon Network doing this? Like there it the show has found its footing, it's found its little following why get rid of something like you don't want ratings you don't want to have a uh, rapport with your your fan base um, or your audience it just boggles my mind but again this was a very good episode uh, YouTube it you'll find it that's about it um, have a good day like I said continue to write Cartoon Network let them express how you feel upbraid uh, I won't say uproar but you know uproar express your opinions We'll do what we can. Like, no, it should not be 
a hiatus until January. Don't give us two episodes. Don't give me a taste and then take it away. It's not fair. It's not right. I mean, please. If this was Fox Network, it would be criticized and, and ridiculed or, you know, it kind of expect this from Fox. So never mind. But ABC, any other thing, just cancel the show if you don't want the um, DC Network or DC um, Block. Get Cancel it so they can put it on somewhere else. So they can find a new home for it. So that someone will give it a schedule and give it a time. Um, that's how I feel about it. Again, thank you. Wow, this review is tiring. Um, take it easy. Eddie, to some football. Bye.